Hi everyone and welcome to a drawing time lapse today and Studio Sessions episode 29. Real quick before I begin, I know that the holiday shopping season is almost over, so if you guys need a last minute quick gift idea, I do have digital gift cards available for sale on my website at happyd-artist.com. And more importantly, this holiday season, I'm trying to raise $1,000 for one of my favorite charities, the ASPCA, which stands for the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. They're a nonprofit organization that rescues and rehomes so many adorable pets all across the country, and they are also where I adopted my two dogs. So 25% of all sales in my shop this month will be donated to the ASPCA. All right, so I haven't done a drawing time lapse in a while, and I must say I have definitely missed them. I have just been an oil painting frenzy these past few weeks, so it's really nice to have a change of pace and do a drawing again. This illustration is one of the many pieces that I create each month to send as rewards to my lovely patrons. Shout out to my Patreon fam, you guys are awesome. Um, and for this piece, I really wanted to play with some different colors than what I usually use. I notice for drawings, I tend to stay with um, light pinks, light blues, and light lavender. So for this one, I wanted to go bold and try a more rich, slightly deeper color. So later on, you'll see me actually venture into um, never before seen territory by using a red marker as a base for these flowers. I know, it's so exciting, right? So I thought today I would take the time to answer a frequently asked question that I get asked way too much and I feel like before I avoided talking about it because I didn't want to offend anyone I always wanted to be politically correct and then I realized there's really nothing offensive about answering this question in fact I think it's important for people to hear um, because people always ask me why I never draw or paint men why I only stick to females and how come I don't ever paint a guy? And sometimes I get asked this question from people who are genuinely curious, so I don't mind, you know, people just wanna know. Um, but sometimes I get asked this question in a really rude manner where people are almost criticizing or accusing me of um, neglecting a huge important group. Like I'm purposely leaving men out for some ulterior motive. And I guess today I just wanted to set the record straight. There's no like malicious reason why I don't paint men. I simply enjoy painting and drawing women because I relate since I am a female. I don't really know um, if there's an expectation that every artist should be inclusive of, of men and women in the subjects that they portray, but for me, I don't really think about it too much. I, I don't paint or draw with the intention of representing, you know, all human beings. In fact, I don't even think I try to draw or paint human beings per se. I try to capture the female spirit in a way that seems poetic and seems reflective of the way that I view the world through the lens of a female. And it doesn't even have to be a portrait of a specific human being. Um, as you guys know, those of you especially um, who have followed me for a while, I don't really try to make the subjects look proportionally, anatomically, or realistically human. I simply paint and draw what I like. And I know maybe that's a very selfish way of approaching it and, you know, I'm sure there are lots of people out there who want to see men being painted. I'm sure there are lots of people out there who want to see animals or landscapes or buildings. I mean, there's so many different types of things that people prefer, things that reflect someone's unique individual taste, and I can't satisfy everyone. I think the best thing I can do as an artist is to try to put down as much of myself as I can on paper so that when I share it with the world, people have an accurate and honest look into my brain, into my insight, into the universe that I have created for myself and my subjects. So yeah, it never really stressed me out and I, n I never really even gave it a second thought of why I don't paint men or maybe I should paint more men. And I'm a firm believer in that if you force yourself to draw or paint something that you don't like, it won't well, A, it won't be enjoyable for you, the artist, but also it'll reflect in your work. 
I have definitely been in situations where I was forced to create art and I wasn't in the mood or it was a subject that I just simply wasn't interested in. And it definitely shows in the quality of the finished piece. Um, I think artists are the happiest when we're able to do what we love and paint what we love and draw what we love. So for me, um, when I sit down in front of a blank canvas or a blank sheet of paper, the first idea or the first forms of what to put down that come to mind are all female and feminine. And I guess what I'm trying to say is there's really no problem with painting and drawing whatever you love, even if certain people might speak out against it and tell you that you should paint or draw other things. Ultimately, there's definitely a difference between practicing things to strengthen your skills and carefully curating the themes that you like to portray because that's your signature style and that's what you love. You know, I definitely don't have a problem if I'm, you know, following an art tutorial or taking an art class um, to paint whatever model or study, you know, the teacher or the instructor has for me. I've painted and drawn plenty of males um, for practice ever since I was a little kid. But now that I have my own YouTube channel and I have my own, you know, I guess sort of art business, um, I don't feel the need to paint men to attract the male demographic or, you know, to to satisfy a certain commercial need. I feel like I should just paint and draw what I love, be true to who I am, be true to my vision. And if people like it and they respond to it and they want to support me, that's awesome. I'm so grateful. And if people don't like it and want to see an artist who does paint males, then, you know, there are plenty of other amazing artists out there who are also deserving of their support. So. I don't see anything wrong with sticking to your guns and, you know, I, I just feel like most of the time, of course, this question gets asked me, it's not, I'm not offended or it doesn't really annoy me. I think people are genuinely curious and I'm more than happy to answer people's questions. But sometimes, like I mentioned before, it's definitely tinted with like a tone of accusation as if I'm purposely excluding men for, you know, some <laughs> some rude or prejudiced reason. And it's really, really not. I have nothing against men in general and I have nothing against painting or drawing men. And I definitely don't have anything against representing men or other races or other species or other types of art um, in the media. I just simply do what I want to do. It's as simple as that. And that's not to say that I'm never gonna get inspired by a male or never want to paint a male. Um, it's just for the time being when I listen to my heart and it tells me what I wanna paint and what I wanna draw, it's simply mostly female. Um, and lastly, I also have this kind of live and let live attitude. It's something that I really wish I could see more of on social media. I think, again, with the art community, I always say this, I think we're really lucky, especially um, my particular set of viewers and people like you guys. I feel like I just am blessed with the nicest and most courteous group of people who are very authentic and really, really want to learn and help others and just share in the love of art. So I definitely don't see this a lot on my page, but just going around social media, people seem to love to accuse each other or put the blame on each other and not give each other the benefit of the doubt and it's always just pointing fingers and you know for me like I would never go on another artist's page and ask them or, or demand of them like why don't you ever paint men or why don't you ever paint females or why don't you paint you know more cats or more landscapes like I, I think everyone when they put themselves out there on social media, it's already like taking a huge risk and putting something very personal for the public to judge and to comment on. I would never question someone's preferences just because they don't align with mine. So, you know, whenever I see the few rude comments from people demanding to know why I don't paint men, I sometimes don't even want to answer them because I just feel like there's no answer that would satisfy them and it'll probably just give them ammunition to argue with me more. But this video I've been putting off for making for a while and I just really, really wanted you guys to know where I'm coming from. It's not from a place of malice or prejudice or trying to um, exclude people. I simply love painting the female spirit because I am a female and because my life experiences relate more. 
I don't have anything against men or um, any other subject of art. I simply paint and draw what I love and I hope everyone else out there watching can do the same and can just create art that makes them happy. So thank you all so much for watching and listening to me ramble on. Um, real quick before I leave, I wanted to proudly show off these beautiful entries from my $1 coloring challenge last month. Um, if you'd like to participate this month, you can check out my Patreon page and pledge at least $1 at patreon.com slash happydartist. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. And before I leave, I just quickly wanted to announce that I have given my Patreon page a huge makeover. This past month, I have been working extra hard in trying to improve my rewards so that they can be catered towards what you guys want to see the most. So I've added so many new things such as monthly video tutorials that are exclusive to patrons only, a longer 40 minute video podcast where I answer your questions about art career. There's also step-by-step -step tutorial guides and a peek into my secret sketchbook that I don't show anyone else and so many more cool rewards. I would love it if you guys checked it out and joined my awesome Patreon family. You can go to patreon.com slash happy artist. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.